The items that are obtained on the road are marked up dramatically, one fan complained. Mike Sixty owns Antique Archaeology, with stores in Nashville, Tennessee, and Davenport, Iowa. The U.S. Sun can exclusively reveal customers shopping in the Nashville store could expect to drop thousands for standout antique items. One includes an intact Ozuai model, which is French-made, for $2,100. Another item is a Polarine thermometer sign for $2,700. A May West pump would set a customer back $2,800. A Native American leather suit that also comes with matching pants is priced at $900. A yellow airplane ride which appears to be in good condition, is on sale for $1,250. An eco-tire flat pump model 97 goes for $2,200. Customers could own a vintage Pepsi machine for $2,200. A framed Johnny Cash harmonica ad is listed for $1,200. While the items are noteworthy, fans have slammed the store's expensive prices. It was cool, some items we looked at for ourselves we thought were too pricey, one customer said during a recent visit. The items that are obtained on the road are marked up dramatically, a second complained. It seemed like it was more of a showroom of overpriced stuff from the show and a gift shop. They could do better, a third customer criticized. Antique prices crazy high, along with any souvenir. Guess it's a been there. Done that place, a fourth said. Despite the pricey items, Antique Archaeology Nashville's estimated annual sales, per Experience Business Valuation Report, are reportedly $903,000 as of July 2023. The company's business credit score is low risk, meaning there is a good probability of on-time payment, according to the report. As for the financial stability risk ratings, Antique Archaeology received a low risk of 2 out of 5 rating, meaning a 1.11% potential risk of severe financial distress within the next 12 months. A rep for Mike and Antique Archaeology has not responded to the U.S. Sun's request for comment regarding the store's sales. Other Biusahengiasities, Mike also owns Two Lanes Guesthouse, a vacation rental in Columbia, Tennessee. Just down the block is Mike's Columbia Motor Alley, a source close to Mike previously told the U.S. son of the business. It used to be a car restoration building and then Mike Wolf bought it. He has employees who work on bicycles and more in the garage section. Mike has his cars and motorcycles here on display. He has motorcycles, bikes, cars and antiques he finds on the show. There is also a merchandise shop that sells shirts, hats, oil cans, mugs, and more goods. There are even various vintage cars and motorcycles from Mike's personal collection on display, including a black Ford Model A, a red Porsche, a beige 1934 Ford Coupe, and an Indian motorcycle. $93 million project The U.S. Sun has previously reported on Mike's $93 million project in Colombia. According to property records, Mike has purchased seven commercial properties in Colombia, one of which he plans to turn into a restaurant. He even pitched a spin-off show to History Channel on how he's bringing life to the sleepy town with the new businesses.